Hi, my name is Leandro Facchinetti and in this video I'm going to show you what are the best settings for working in Reaper with a touchpad in macOS. The first thing that I think is wrong with a touchpad in macOS in Reaper is the feeling of the scroll. It doesn't feel smooth and that was the first impression I got of Reaper when I installed it. It was not an excellent impression, it wasn't that good, but fortunately there is a fix and it's so worth it because Reaper is so good for many other reasons. The fix is simple. Come here to preferences and advanced UI system tweaks and disable throttling of the mouse wheel. And that's because apparently Reaper thinks of these kinds of swipe movements as um, the mouse wheel. And when you disable that throttling, then it feels more natural. It doesn't feel perfect. It's not as smooth as in some other places in macOS, but it's definitely much better than the default. Next, if you are like me and you did not change the defaults in macOS, then scrolling feels reversed in Reaper because Reaper doesn't do the so-called natural scrolling that the rest of the operating system does. To fix this, we come here to preferences again and change under keyboard and multi-touch to reverse the scroll. And now it scrolls in the same direction I am swiping. This next thing may be a personal preference, but I guess it makes sense. By default, Reaper will zoom in and out when you swipe your fingers up and down. And I guess it would make more sense to scroll up and down in this view. To change this, we come here to actions and we look for an action called scroll vertically reversed. Of course, if you don't want to reverse because you changed the default in the operating system and you don't want to scroll reversed, then you just use this other action, which is not reversed, but I want the reversed one. So I will assign a shortcut that is scrolling up and down. So I just scroll up or down in this area and we'll show here mouse wheel. And then I assign that and it will say that I am overriding this other shortcut, which is exactly what I want to do. I don't want to zoom or horizontally, I want to scroll vertically reversed. So I'll change that, close this, and now when I scroll up and down, it does the right thing. This next one is down here in the mixer. By default, Reaper will scroll the mixer left and right when you scroll your fingers up and down which makes no sense. It would be better to go left and right on the touchpad, but that is scrolling here, the arrangement view, not what we want. But there is a configuration for this. So let's come here to preferences. And this time we come to editing behavior, mouse, and then horizontal mouse wheel over mixer scrolls tracks rather than arrange view. And then we say, okay, and now it's fixed. This next one has to do with zooming in and out. By default, Reaper will focus on the edit bar, but I think it makes more sense to focus on the mouse to zoom in and out the point where my cursor is because that's usually where I'm looking at. So to fix this, we come here to preferences, editing behavior, and then the vertical zoom center and the horizontal zoom, zoom center should both be the cursor. And then we apply this and now it's zooming in and out, out of my cursor, not the edit cursor over here. So this last one also has to do with zooming and by default, Reaper will zoom in and out of tracks when you're holding command and you swipe up and down. And I think it would be nice to have the converse of swiping right and left when holding command and being able to zoom in and out of the timeline. And if you want this, you can come here to actions and look for an action called zoom horizontally reversed. Again, reversed or not, depending on your preference. Let's assign a shortcut, hold command and scroll right on this box and then apply. And 
Now when I hold command and swipe right and left, I have zoom and I think it controls better, it feels better on the hand than the pinch to zoom. It's also faster when you're scrolling and zooming, especially if you disable throttle in the first suggestion. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can configure Reaper to have better behavior with your touchpad in macOS. Thanks for watching.